I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to see how we can add a video in the multi-column section. All right. You can see the output. Right now we have in the column, so in the multi-column section, we have blocks. In the column block, we can only add image. But we want to add video as well. Let's see how we can do this. Let's choose a theme. In this case, we're going to use the Dawn. Edit the code. All right. We're going to search for multicolor. Yeah, that's it. So this is our file that we're going to work on. First, we need to create an input. What does it mean by that? So we have image input, like image picker or whatever you call. This is basically input. So we have input for videos as well. So if we go to the Shopify doc, here you can see input. And this is image picker that already exists. We want to include video, right? So this is our settings for the video. I already made this, so I'm going to copy the code from here. I'll explain the code, no problem. So it's on line 400. So we have image picker input. We're going to put comma here and comma after ending the curly braces. So we have the video type. I have an idea of video. A label is basically the name that is coming from the template. Alright, you can change the label here as well, but uh, I want to keep it as it is. Let's save it and refresh. Now we can see on the column, maybe I uploaded a video before. So we have an input or option to upload the video. We can upload the video here. We just create the input. We need to showcase that in our website. You can see we have like media. Let me show you one thing. Here it's saying if block setting image. So this is for the block uh, image input. It's saying if image input exists, show this code or show the image. Likewise here. So if block is getting end here, uh, via end if. So we're going to copy the code from here. We'll find the code here. All right. So, so this is for the schema. Input schema and this is the code. All right. You can copy from here as well. So we're going to put the code here. It basically means if video exists, show this code. So that's it. Now we can save it. And we already uploaded the video and saved the file. Now if we refresh, here you can see we have the video. So yeah, I think that's it. It's super easy. Maybe we can improve that a bit. We can set a loop. All right, me and we can set a link. So we have option to video URL that accept YouTube and Vimeo link. We can do that as well. Face schema. I hope you get the idea. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it and let me know in the comments.